it is time for another lip product declutter these are high-end products and I still have a everyday drawer that I'm using that I will do a separate declutter on let's start with the lipsticks Ooh, these right here are primarily my high-end lipsticks I am not going to go through my MAC ones because there are not any that I'm going to get rid of with <laughs> the exception of this one. This is the Lip Tensity in the color Dionysus. If I can get it to focus. And this is just too dark. So I'm going to get rid of this one. And I believe I'm also going to get rid of this Anastasia one. This is in the color above, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, I am going to keep my Chanel lipsticks because they are beautiful and they are pretty much newer. Ish, and I will swatch these for you guys. I am keeping my Charlotte Tilbury's, which I will swatch for you. I may get rid of this Estee Lauder just because it is older. And then my two NARS I am going to keep. My Burberry I'm going to keep, and I think I'm going to get rid of the Dior in, is it this one? Spotlight, I think. Anyway, one of these I'm going to get rid of, so I will swatch these and show you guys what these look like. Okay, so here are all of the lipsticks. Um, I'm going to start over here with this coral. This I said I had four Chanel. I was wrong. I have two Chanel and two Bobbi Brown. But this corally color is Salmon by Bobbi Brown. It's different. It's pretty. I'm keeping it. And then we have... Okay, and the bottom one is Sandwash Pink by Bobbi Brown. The second from the bottom is Boy by Chanel. The third is Cecile by Chanel, which I am keeping all four of those. So these guys are safe. And then I have, yeah, okay. And then this dark one right here, this darker mattish one, is called Bond Girl by Charlotte Tilbury. That's about the darkest I'm ever going to go with a lipstick. <laughs> and then we have Valentine and then Pillow Talk, which is a cult classic. So I'm going to keep all three of these. The next two are... Um, Anita and Raquel, which I'm going to keep as well. And then the third from the top is Burberry, and it is in English Rose I'm keeping. And then I decided I'm going to keep both Dior's as well. I decided I'm not gonna get rid of any you know what I actually let me tell you what these two Dior ones are real quick we have so the bottom one is a vintage the, the second from the top is vintage and then the top one is spotlight I am gonna get rid of this corally bobby brown color which is called salmon I am going to get rid of that because I just don't 
think I'm gonna wear it. All the rest of these are my jam, especially these guys up here. Moving on. Two that I were undecided about. The top one is a Stay Louder Mischievous Rose. I used to wear this all the time. I am going to keep it. I am going to get rid of the matte one, which is Buff by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's really, really dark and I just matte lipstick just isn't my thing. So I'm going to get rid of that one and I'm going to keep the top one. Okay, so as far as all of these go, I do not. I'm going to be getting rid of a couple. And I'm going to keep... Um, all three of my dose of colors. I may get rid of these. I may get rid of this. I may get rid of this. I'm going to keep this Urban Decay. I'm going to keep the Stila. I'm going to keep the MAC. I'm going to keep the Bare Minerals. I'm going to keep all six of these tart ones. And I'm going to get rid of this one I'm pretty sure and these these two so these are all safe right here I will swatch them for you and I do know for sure I am going to get rid of these two this is Mac flesh stone and Mac these are the um, retro mats and this is too matte with love. I'm gonna get rid of these because these just don't work for me. And I don't know about these guys. I will swatch these and show you what they are. I am having problems with my lighting. I'm so so sorry. Okay, so here is the arm of swatches. Yeah, I am keeping all of these because they are so so stunning so the first one the first three I'll just do the first three from the top so we have dose of colors on repeat then bear with me and can you not so on repeat is at top Bear With Me is in the middle, and Can You Not is the third one down. Then we have Urban Decay Midnight Cowgirl is the fourth one down. Really sheer, but really gorgeous. Then we have Stila Carmelo, which is that matte, really nude really matte one right there followed by the lip gloss by MAC in BU which is the sixth one down the seventh one down which is that reddish kind of shimmery color is everything by Bare Minerals then we have the tart ones, which is under that reddish gloss there. So we have the six tart ones. The first one is called Get It, followed by Exposed. Then Rose. Then we have Bestie, Low Key, and then the fourth one from the bottom is an OG.
last three. The third one from the bottom is Mac in Softly Rockin', and these are the retro mats. And then we have Burnt Spice, which is the second from the bottom, and Lady Be Good is the bottom one. So I'm going to keep all of these because they are beautiful. And I love them. I am already stained up, but I think the only one I'm going to get rid of out of the maybes is this MAC one in the color Divine Divine. It's that bubblegum pink. <laughs> I'm not going to wear that. Um, the second one from the bottom is this Estee Lauder color in Vinyl Rose, which is really pretty gloss. Then we have the Too Faced Melted Sugar, which is that sheer one in the middle there. And then we have the two Too Faced Glosses in Peach Fizz and Papa Don't Peach. Papa Don't Peach is the top one, Peach Fizz is the second. I keep these as well. Okay, I need to be brutal with myself. <laughs> um, I know I'm not going to get rid of these little um, Pat McGrath for here, but I may get rid of this one. I am going to keep my two Fenty um, lip glosses and then um, I may get rid of these guys because I don't wear them and I'm going to keep I'm only gonna, I'm not gonna be able to swatch all of these guys, so I'm gonna swatch the ones that I may be getting rid of. So I'm gonna get rid of this one too. So. And then as far as this drawer goes, um, I may get rid of these two glossy metallic Huda ones. And the rest of these. So I'm going to swatch these and figure it out real quick. Okay, so out of all of these, I'm only going to keep the two Huda Beauty ones, um, which are the third and fourth from the bottom. Everything else is going to go because I am not going to wear it. I just know myself. So I am keeping Huda's Snobby and Angelic. Snobby's the pinky one, Angelic's the more golden one. So you guys are safe. You guys are going. Okay, the next drawer is my a buxom drawer, and I'm not really gonna get rid of any. I may get rid of this color right here, which is rose julep. So I may get rid of that. Everything else. Staying. And then same goes for my Marc Jacobs drawer. I may get rid of this guy. <clears throat> but everything else is staying. <clears throat> and then this is my Anastasia Beverly Hills drawer. Um, I may get rid of this color which is called soft lilac and I may get rid of no I'm not gonna get rid of poet because I love it but milkshake I may get rid of as well because that is ultra nude and then I may get rid of these guys right here everything else is pretty safe
Okay, so here are the maybes that I'm thinking about getting rid of. And I think I am actually only going to keep this one, which is the Anastasia Gloss in Metallic Rose, which is the fourth one down. All the rest of them are gonna go. This is really pretty, the second one from the bottom, but I don't like this formula. So it's gonna go. So I'm gonna swatch these seven again because I'm actually on the fence with some of these, as sad as that is. Um, and as expensive <laughs> as some of them are, I don't reach for these nearly as much as I should. So I'm going to swatch these again and maybe get rid of some. Or all of them. Okay, so I'm keeping the top two. I'm keeping the top three, which are the two Too Faced and the Estee Lauder. But I am going to get rid of the fourth one down which is NARS Anita it's really dark and I don't reach for it keeping Raquel and then these two Dior I'm gonna go ahead and keep okay so I'm getting rid of 18 which isn't bad but it's not the best and I'm keeping all this I have one more lip product declutter I'm gonna do and it's the current products that are in my vanity and then I'm going to do a MAC lipstick collection because that's not all of them believe it or not <laughs> thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you guys next time